Hey, good morning. Hello, greetings. All the way from Cameroon, greetings to my viewers. All the way from Boya. Um, it's another beautiful morning again. And uh, there shall be this faith series I'll be taking to boost your faith, to grasp that which uh, God holds for you. And so call your viewers, uh, your friends, your loved ones, and everybody. Let somebody watch this video. Let somebody, you as you get it, you can send it to somebody and say, watch what I had, watch what I saw. You will, they will be blessed. Let it not end in your hand. God bless you. We shall be touching this fifth series this morning. Father, bless my viewers and cause them to be attentive and hear me. As we go into this word, the entrance of your word brings light and brings transformation. Thank you in Jesus' name. Uh, we'll be drawing an inspiration from the book of Matthew, uh, Mark rather, uh, chapter 11, uh, 22, 24. But we begin from 20 so that we understand the background story of the scenario I know you're getting me. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, called, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which thou cursed is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. The Lord bless the word in Jesus' name. I'll be taking this series and giving you the first portion of it and the second portion. I know you're going to be blessed. Um, the passage we read is talking about uh, Jesus and his disciples uh, when he was about going to Jerusalem and uh, or after it entered Jerusalem and uh, drove out the people that were selling and buying in the, in the temple and uh, he was hungry. He came across a fig tree and uh, he was hungry. He needed fruit from it and uh, he saw nothing. And he cursed the fig tree by saying, let no man eat from thee hence. And uh, as the Bible says, the fig tree withered instantly. And uh, it looks like the next day, Peter called to remembrance that fig tree and behold master see the fig tree is withered instantly that you cursed and uh, Jesus made this statement from verse 22 that we want to uh, patch on have faith in God if we read from the the way Bible it reads have and Jesus answered and said unto them have the faith of God. And then I, I, I begin to ask, does God have faith? I, I thought we have faith in somebody. Faith is that confident trust in somebody. Oh no, faith is deeper than that. Have the faith of God. In other words, have the God kind of faith. And we want to dissect into what is a God kind of faith. We want to dig deep into what is the God kind of faith. For Jesus to say, have the God kind of faith. And he says, for verily I say unto you, that whatsoever you shall say unto this mountain, there was a literal mountain standing in front of them. It said, be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said 
shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Now, what is the God kind of faith? The God kind of faith is that creative faith. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the book of Hebrew, it says, by faith we know that the heavens were created by the hand of the Almighty. By faith. God uses faith, yes. Look at the God kind of faith. In Genesis chapter 1, God created, God spoke. The word created or create means to conceive, retain, declare, and see it manifest. In 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 7, it says, the, By the spoken word of God was the world created, and by that very spoken word is the world reserved unto condemnation. In John chapter 1, from verse 1 and 2, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And nothing was created without the Word. Nothing was created without the Word. It took the spoken Word for God to create to create, as I said, means to conceive and bring into existence what has never existed before. The God kind of faith called the things that be not as though they were. Can I use this short time and talk to you about the language of faith? The faith language, the God language, is that language that speaks in the present, what is not tangible. Another time, we will be touching the God language, spirit language. But let me go down. God said, let there be light. In other version, it says, light be, and there was light. And if Jesus says, have the faith of God, he was saying, Learn to call to existence what you don't see with your physical eyes. The God kind of faith, number two, is that faith that does not fix its regard on the present obstacle. Remember Genesis 1, 2. There was darkness upon the face of the deep. Water has covered the entire earth. And gross darkness has covered the whole place. But God did not regard the darkness. He did not regard the chaotic nature. He spoke and light was. Let me pause here and trigger something in you. Hello. Now, it is commonly believed that, okay, God spoke and he just said, let there be light. And there was light. But let's see, let's compare scripture to scripture. And the Bible says, and he divided the light from the darkness and called the light day and called the darkness night. And this was the first day. Let me ask us in a human day. And uh, at the end of Genesis chapter 1, uh, the last verse or chapter 2 verse 1, it says, and God rested from all his work. I thought God, God was only talking. He's talking, walk. And the Bible says, and God rested from his work, not from his words. Which brings to my mind, I, I, I have this picture. If it was real work, what is work? Work is that which exerts energy. Work is that which consumes time and energy. Now, if the Bible says, and God rested from his labor, from his work. I, and then he says, and God said, let there be light. Just get me, don't, don't get out of this, this message. Just get me. And God said, let there be light. 
if it was just a single statement, then it couldn't consume the whole day. Because one statement cannot take up to one second or five seconds. But this is the notion I carry. And for the Bible to call it work, I, I believe God sat there and spoke, let there be light. And it seems as if the darkness will not give way. But he stood his ground and said, I have said, let there be light. Let there be light or light be, light be. Even though darkness was still like mounting uh, a resistance, but by faith, the God kind of faith could not budge. Light be, light be, light be. And suddenly, gradually, or instantly, light broke forth because he that called light persisted in the call and did not look at the darkness. The God kind of it. Do you know why we fail these days? The Bible says, God called the things that be not as though they were. He said, light be. He said, light be. He saw light. He saw light. He refused to see darkness. Oftentimes, we fix our regard on the obstacles and it affects our confession. But if you can behave as you don't, as if you don't see the, the obstacle and you call for the things that you want, you speak the language. I, I, I call for finances. Finance B. Finance B. Your wife rushed to the room and said, there's no money for Maggie. But you said, there is money. Money B. Money B. Money B. I am rich. I am rich. Oh, yes. That is a God kind of faith. That kind of faith that sees a dangerous medical report and refused to be frightened and said, I walk in health, I walk in strength, I, 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 I take it, my health can never be in the hands of the devil, I cannot rely on drugs, I cannot be at the mercy of doctors and feeding from the information they give me. Oh no, the God kind of faith. Hear me. The God kind of faith does not make you analyze the obstacles. Thirdly, the God kind of faith operates on the law of persistence. I just mentioned it. The God kind of faith operates on the law of persistence. When you have an infusion of the God kind of faith, there is a, a, a persistence in your spirit man. The Bible says, and Elijah went on top of the mountain, told Ahab, go and eat. I hear the sounds of abundance of rain. And he did not go to eat. He went on the mountain and bowed his head in persistent prayers and prayed seven dimensions of prayers. I believe he, 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 he was saying, rain, I see rain. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. What he told Ahab is what he said on the mountain. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Nothing can derail me. Rain is coming. Rain come. Let there be rain. Let there be rain. It looks at the sky was dry. The sun was high. But he persisted. Let there be rain. No doubt he sent the seven. Seven times. Go and check from the mountain to the seaside. From the mountain to the seaside. Seven good times. The God kind of faith persists. It's not that kind of faith that you, 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 you declare it the moment you hear something negative or you see something negative. Oh yes, you switch your confession or you switch your faith. Oh no, it doesn't switch faith. The God kind of faith. I know you're enjoying it. Mm. He persisted. Elijah persisted in the place of prayer. The God kind of faith is a talking faith. The Bible says, and you shall say unto this mountain. You know, there is prayer. Prayer is talking to God. But let me go, if you go back home, wherever you are, pick your Bibles, you can read this passage in the book of Daniel chapter 9, verse 20 and verse 21. The Bible says, or 19, 20, 21, it says, And Daniel, I, Daniel, while I was praying and speaking and making my confession, 
while I was praying and speaking and confessing. We pray to God. We confess our stand in God. We speak to the obstacle. Get it again. We pray to God. We confess our stand in God. And we speak to the obstacle. Daniel spoke. He said, I prayed. I confess. And I spoke. The God kind of faith. When you come before God, you pray to gain energy. You confess your stand to activate the anointing. You speak to the obstacle. Christ did not say you shall pray to God for this mountain. He said you shall say to this mountain. Let me tell you, let, let me tell us, there is a power of the spoken word. In the next series, I'll be touching the power of the spoken word. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, plant in my brother, my sister watching me, that grace for the God kind of faith, that faith that persists, that faith that stands its ground, that faith that does not lose ground. I pray that you will, you, you will grasp that faith in the midst of this challenge standing before you and you will not celebrate that challenge, you will celebrate the victory. I will stretch my hands and join my faith with your own and I declare by the Spirit of the Lord that you are overcoming in that situation. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. See you. I'm Reverend Gabiga Clement, Senior Pastor of Grace Faith Mission International. I know you've just been blessed. There are numbers on the screen. You can check the numbers on the screen. You can call for any question. You can call for counseling. You can call for prayers and whatever you desire. And we will be there to minister to you. I live in Boya and Grace Faith Mission is in Boya. 200 meters behind St. Clair Hotel. You need to worship with us, call, make this call. This Sunday you can be a blessing. You can be blessed by coming to worship with us and I'll be ministering to you. There's always a prayer line or we always minister to people immediately after service. We minister to people in the service and immediately after service I minister to people. So you, may be, you will be privileged to get in contact with me and I'll be ministering to you and your testimony is sure. God bless you.